Chris from ePianos here. Welcome to Showroom Live, where we take you around our showroom, show you what types of pianos we've got and what we picked out this week that we particularly like. Um, let's start with this one over here. Come this way. This model here is the Yamaha CLP685. Basically speaking, this is just like a classical upright piano. They've kept it mercifully simple, really, really easy to use. Uh, the price is in the region of £3,000, but that means it's a really nice spec. We've got wooden keys on there, really nice speakers as well. The proof's in the pudding, really, so I'll play it. But first of all, let me show you the shape of the thing. That cabinet with a soft closed lid as well is a really, really nice bit of kit. And look down at the bottom, you've got a big bass speaker down there too. Uh, piano style pedals as well but the major thing with this one is the sound of it is absolutely beautiful to play and I'll just give you an example there's more than one type of piano in there this is my favorite one called the Bosendorfer particularly like the range in this one because we have a very good speaker setup we've got a big bass one at the bottom and trebly ones at the top you can get a big range right from down the bottom playing low and bassy and giving it some welly all the way up to the top where it's quite trebly and nice <laughs> playing perspective that means you just put more feeling into it and that's what it's all about you can put a bit of feeling and emotion into it it's not so one-dimensional as some of the lower priced ones on the market so that's a CLP 685 from Yamaha lovely piano um, a few of the different things you can do on it as well if you look at the controls here which again they've kept really really basic and simple I, I like this in fact there's two buttons here one says CFX grand piano that gives you a Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, it's about £150,000 worth of piano. Bosendorfer Imperial Grand, the one I was just playing, that's another one of the world's finest grand pianos built into it. And you just swap between them by pressing those buttons. So it's that simple. But you do have the option of using different sounds as well. Um, for example, we can go in and play things like a stage electric piano, and this gives you a... of sound or you can do some of the uh, more common things like playing two sounds at the same time for example you press the dual button and it gives you piano and strings at the same time <laughs> So that's a really good all-round piano, uh, top of the range, really beautiful bit of kit and a lovely cabinet as well. Um, now the next piano, come over this way and I'll show you what we've got here. Um, the idea with these pianos is they are designed to be integrated with um, more modern technology like tablets, iPads for example, or iPhones. Come and have a look at what this one does. Now. If you ignore the iPad, it just looks like a fairly basic, straightforward piano. But there's an app that you can get for iPad, iPhone, Android as well now. We've got a really good video on it that Isaac's done, which you can watch by clicking here. Um, I'll just pick out one thing that it can do though. It's gonna allow me to play piano and have a whole accompaniment playing as well from my iTunes collection. But more than that, it'll actually show me music to follow, if you can see it on there with the reflection. You can see it gives me the chords. And what's going to happen is I'll press play and it will start playing and I can just play piano along with it, just like this.
there's loads of songs built into it, but it draws from your own iTunes collection. So if you've got a huge collection, you can essentially have it playing through the piano. There's two versions of this piano. Um, this is the um, higher priced one. I've made a video where I compare the two models together and they basically tell you what the key differences are, which you can see by clicking above. The next thing I want to show you over this way is what sort of piano could you get that doesn't cost so much. Come and have a look at this one. Uh, this is called a Yamaha Arius digital piano. This particular model is the YDP143. And as you can see, it's styled on a traditional piano. It looks like a very small upright piano. And of course, being digital, there's no strings in there, there's no iron frame. The design is very compact. But of course, some of the advantages of digital pianos over traditional pianos is it's quite small and it doesn't weigh a ton. Indeed, you could just easily pick up one end, lift it up. So a lot of people put them upstairs. But this is only in the region of five, six hundred pounds, this type of piano. So you can get something that is has the full amount of keys. This is 88 keys wide. They're even weighted, so they feel like a piano to play as well. And for the money, it actually sounds really, really good. Have a listen. I'll just pull up a chair and have a play. I'll turn it up a little bit. So that sounds not bad at all, actually, considering the price of the thing, about five, six hundred pounds. Um, it's got the dust cover on there as well for keeping it looking neat and tidy. The controls on this one are basic. They wanted to design something that allowed you to just turn it on and play it like an ordinary straightforward piano. And they've done that. This is the YDP143. And this model does have a big brother as well called the YDP163, or in fact it's 164 now, they've been replaced. We have got some of the old models left that are on a hugely reduced price. Um, have a click of the link above me now and you can go and see um, how much you can pick up a older version of this if you don't mind having not the most up-to-date one. You can make a really big savings there. So um, that's the kind of thing you can get at a much smaller budget and who's it ideal for someone starting off perhaps you're buying for a, a child you're not quite sure whether they're going to carry on playing in a year's time that's a really good one to go for and the piano teacher will be very happy because of those weighted keys you might remember on shorter keyboards you may have got for christmas the keys don't feel like piano keys when you go and play um, an old upright piano there's resistance in the keys they feel heavy to the touch that is replicated on this model and teachers will always say that's the best thing to give to a beginner whether they're a child or an adult because you start learning that muscle memory in your fingers from early on. That's all for this time make sure you check out all the other videos we've got here on YouTube we've got comparisons we've got demonstrations um, all sorts if you have any questions leave them in the comments section below or send us an email and why not come and see us here in Banbury we've got a showroom full of the Yamaha range, loads of second-hand stuff as well. Um, that's all this for this time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.